Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some Stormworks Build and Rescue. Uh, we are at North Terminal Freight. Uh, we did a bunch of crate missions last time. Um, it's still, the weather's kind of rough, so I think we're gonna do some different today. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these crates or some of these cargo containers and we're actually gonna deliver these guys to where they belong. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little check here, see where they go. Okay, we need ones for South Terminal. Uh, those are gonna be some of the closest ones because, do we not even have any? Oh no, we don't even have any. Komodo, Komodo, it's all your terminal. Okay, ooh, this one's gonna be heavy. Um, I think we can do it. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this on. Let's turn this on, and I'm gonna go get the new vehicle that we are gonna use to transport to South Ferry Terminal. Let's see if there's any more over here. Uh, that was BVG and all your terminal. That one's 3,000 bucks, ooh, okay. We'll go for the other one first. All right, let me go to the train station. This is where I've been uh, working on our new vehicle here. And we are gonna spawn this in and take a look at it real quick. Wrong one, wrong one. Here we go. All right, all right, so this is our new vehicle. Let me go ahead and drive it out of the garage here and we'll take a look at it. All right, we are out of the garage here. Uh, we are looking at our new vehicle here. I have not named it yet, but it's just basically a tank that does cargo carrying. Uh, it's got quite a few supplies on the side here. We've got fire extinguishers, welders, rope. Uh, I got some flare equipment back here. Let's see. It is all electric. Uh, it has a diesel engine. Uh, so that's how we're doing some of our charging. Uh, see, our door is already open. Let me go ahead and jump in here. Get our door shut. All right, let me go into photo mode real quick. All right, so here is the actual vehicle. You can see me sitting in there. It is a two-seater. It was originally a one-seater. I've widened it so that it's actually easier to look over my shoulder, which is does help things out a little bit. Uh, so you can see we've got the cargo carrier on the back here. We've got some tools. I've got electricity resupply. I've got fuel supply on the other side. Uh, I got some first aid on the inside, some blinging lights. Got some radio antennas, no in, no radio in it yet. And I've got some speakers on the outside, which don't really help us at all, but gives it a nice little look. Uh, other than that, uh, there's not much to it, really. Um, so I think we're just gonna jump back inside and we're gonna go grab that crate and actually deliver it and make some money today. All right, all right, let's drive on over there. Let's see, our crate is right over there somewhere. I can just see it. We're gonna head on over there. We are in slow mode right now. We do have a faster mode, but I like to keep it slow in the actual shipping yard. It keeps us from running into things, catching things on fire. Uh, it has taken me a while to actually get this build together too as well, because every time I loaded up a cargo crate and testing, for some reason, the entire build would bug out the container would like freak out get yeeted across the map things would catch on fire and it was just it was not good things were working and then they just decided to not work well i finally figured out it got it working got the bugs taken care of so here we are we're making a we're making a video today uh so we're gonna grab this guy right here he is gonna go over to south terminal freight um my concern is the weight of this thing we have i have not tested any fuel containers on this yet so this is gonna be a first for us today here guys all right we're just getting into position now uh, okay let's see i got a rear view let's turn it rear view on do a little more turning line up here we're not perfectly lined up but we can get pretty good close with this all right so the truck bed is all the way up we're gonna back up. Yeah, we are not lined up for this thing at all. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I'm turning the wrong way. There we go. I'm gonna back up slowly. I don't want to break anything. Don't want to catch anything on fire, especially a container full of diesel. Okay, there we go. We are latched in. <sighs> this is where I get scared. Okay, this is the part that causes problems. Gonna put that back down. I'm gonna put the truck bed at 30%. That evens up the container and. The truck bed itself here we'll go into photo mode again i can show you what i'm talking about you can see they're on a uh, a nice even even path here now so when i pull this rail all the way up it should be nice and smooth now the problem i've had before is right when this slider gets to right about here is when it started bugging out so if we get past here we're good to go if we don't make it to here it might be game over for us today all right so let's start sliding the rails up comes our fuel oh i got some painting to do underneath these uh these bars here. All right, come on. Don't bug out on me. Keep coming, keep coming. I think we're gonna do it. I think it's gonna happen. 
Nice, it's doing it. Okay, we'll bring the truck bed down and it will engage into a locking system here as soon as it gets to the, there we go, we are locked in. Uh, I'm gonna put the slide rail back at zero or close to zero, close to zero as I can get it. All right, so now we're good. We don't need our reverse camera. Um, we've got plenty of power to get over there. This thing is heavy. Uh, so the plan is to get over there, get the south, south terminal freight and to grab a crate or a cargo can shit uh so the plan is to get over there grab a container and bring it back as well uh no empty trips here um let's turn here and i'm gonna go into a faster whoa too fast all right let's get out of here and we're off and we're moving pretty good now we're doing about 45 miles an hour before we were doing only five in the shipyard so we will have some speed getting there, but it will take us some time getting there as well. But luckily, we have some nice scenery to look at. All right, we are on the road now, headed down south. It looks like we're doing pretty good on battery. I mean, considering we're only a quarter of the way there, though. Um, but I do have about a thousand liters of fuel in a generator that we can use to pump our batteries back up. But I think we can make it there and back on one charge. Uh, that is with just the containers. I'm not sure on the weight of with the the, uh, the diesel that we're carrying. That might actually drag it down some more but we'll see how it goes man uh frame dropping do all this rain all right coming up to the split here and take a right i think i think this is where we go right isn't this where we go we just came down here and then we'll come down around and then yeah, yeah okay otherwise we'll be going into the airport and what is all this a barge, no, and a boat with a transponder. You know, we're on land today, so we're not dealing with that. All right. Back on track. Yeah, we are headed the right way. Uh, we're going to head down south a little bit more. Uh, looks like I can see the wind turbines there. Yep. All right, we're approaching the mountains. Nice. Uh, not much else is going on. Uh, smooth ride. We're doing pretty good here. Uh, we've still got a little ways to go. Uh, battery is at 85%. I'm curious. We're going to run all the way there with our batteries instead of using our Jennies. I'm just curious to see how much it's actually going to use all the way there. But the, the benefit is we do have gas on us to run our generator, and there is gas at that terminal as well. So worst case scenario is we run out of gas. We can still continue to charge up while we're there. We don't want to be sideways like this. And I, I did forget to mention, uh, this vehicle does cost us about $83,000. It is one of our pricier vehicles. It's actually twice the price of our seaplane. Um, and considering a seaplane probably brings in more cash than this will, it's it's kind of awkward. But um, we want to do some of the land missions. Uh, I think what we can actually do later on as well is instead of carrying some cargo, we could actually make a trailer that goes on it that we maybe can carry some fuel. We can carry water. Uh, we can turn this into a fire truck. We can carry it into a fuel truck. Uh, we could put a personnel carrier on the back of this thing. So we have so many options with this, a med bay. So yeah, guys, we have, we have, we have tons of options with this vehicle, you know, considering it does cost us about $83,000, we can put a bunch of different trailer beds on it and do a bunch of different stuff in game. So that is the benefit. Other than that, it is a pricey vehicle and we are not going to make that back today in cargo runs, but I like the vehicle. It's doing its job. Oh, we're on the back side of the windmills here or the wind turbines. Don't want to get on this angle here. I don't like that. 78% on battery, still doing good. It is still pouring rain. But this is nice. This is a mission where I wouldn't want to go out in the boat or the airplane right now. So instead of sitting there sleeping it off, we can actually do some missions, which is nice. Okay, so we are getting pretty close. Let's check our map here again. If we've just passed the windmills, we are right in this area here. So we are not too far from South Sawyer. Uh, we got a tunnel to go through here as well. Let's uh, let's get moving. Still doing good on batteries, 73%. I think we'll be down in the 60s by the time we get there, but that is quite all right. As long as we're above 50% by the time we get there, then we won't have any problems returning home with, with some goods. All right, there is the actual tunnel. So we're getting pretty close. All right, tunnel coming up. Here we go. All right. Woo! All right, that's enough of that. All right, coming out the other end of the tunnel. Woo! There we go. All right. Ooh, about launched ourselves here. Uh, might need to be a little more careful playing around. For some reason, I thought this was going to be a shorter mission. Uh, I guess I'm so used to just traveling over to the uh, airfield and back that we're. Uh, this mission is actually quite long. Make sure I stay on the road here, even though we are an all-terrain vehicle. Man, we're still not there yet. Oh my gosh, 
this is this is almost taking a full day to drive here we're gonna be driving back in the nighttime actually we might not because we might have to charge our batteries up and it might be daytime by the time we get our batteries charged up we'll see we'll see how it goes let's just get this first one delivered here the first signs of civilization there we got the town we're gonna come through very nice very nice oh gas pump there okay all right we're rolling through town now freight should be right around the corner yep we can see them over there we can see the containers as well Oop, stay the course stay the course don't get distracted all right and we got to jump out and see which ones is gonna be the most beneficial to bring back to north terminal slow us down here get in nice and slow there we go delivered okay so now let's get this thing off of our truck here and i want to release you and i want to release you and then we're going to slide the rail back and that should push our fuel off as well and push us forward is that going to do it perfect now we're reset let's see turn that off turn that off and let's get out and look and see which ones are going back with us what was that four grand that worked uh let's see saw your north terminal that's two grand there three grand there spy cakes not going to spy cakes today that's three grand there there's a four grand one here perfect all right this is it here this is it's going to be uh the, the lando lando corporation container here this is the one we're going to take today lovely it matches our vehicle which is great uh let's jump back in our vehicle here and go pick that guy up oh oh no i think i hooked up to our gas tank I did. Okay. Unhooked. We're good. And then we're going to have to sit here and charge as well. All right. Stop and rotate. I think I'm hung up on that container there. Yep. I can see myself pushing it. Okay. That's the camera. Ooh. Camera. Come on. Come on. Back up. Little tiny adjustments. There we go. Let's back up. Let's back up. Got it. Ooh. Okay. Easy does it. Easy does it. Let's bring our truck by the 30 again. And let's start sliding it up. Please don't jank out. Please don't get crazy. Perfect. Perfect. And the sun's shining too. Nice. What a great trip trip back. All right. Let's head back. So now we are down here. Uh, we're going to head all the way back up north past the uh, wind turbines again. Making the left all the way back to north terminal. As soon as we get out of here, I will... Oh, I need to crank up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's stop what we're doing. Let's put this at... Come on and i need to crank up here and let's watch our battery power go up let's see we are doing how many watts are we almost 202 watts okay boom 202 watts on the nose just about uh so yeah that's gonna go up that's gonna take a minute though so i'm gonna let that charge up here and then we'll head back all right while that's charging i'm actually curious let's see how much this place cost uh if it's not too bad we might actually buy this today uh fifty thousand. 50,000. Um, we've got 140,000 plus whatever we have in our vehicle. Hmm. You know, I'm going to hold off. I don't see the point of us needing this. So I'd more prefer things that are up north here. All right. Battery is still charging. All right. I will come back to you guys when that is all done. All right. We are still charging. It is. And it's slowly moving. I figured 202 watts would be enough to charge this system. Um, we've got more than 50%. I think I'm gonna make the run and let's just, uh, let's head home here. Let's go ahead and turn some lights on here. It is getting a little darker. I've got some blinky lights too for caution. You can see them going off. All right, let's get out of here. Back home we go. Yeah, our battery power is going down slower than it was before because we got this gin running, but man, we've got to do some, and it looks like our gauge is not working for our fuel as well that's kind of that's a shame we'll get those things fixed out main concern today is getting some cargo run all right back to the little town here all right sun is going down at least it's not raining though right at least it's not raining all right as much as i like the blinky lights i am gonna have to put those on a separate switch from our regular lights because they are a little distracting there's just constant flashing in the, in the, uh, the cab here. But I need the headlights. Otherwise, it's just too dark. It's too dark to see. Hey, there's no road. You can't even tell where I'm going. All right, I'm just going to kill that engine. We're not. It's super noisy. We're not really producing anymore. We've got enough to get back. 
If not, we still have enough gas. And what's up with our fuel gauge there? That's that's the one thing I've got some issues with. I think it's 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 happening with any dial that's connected to a tank right now. I've noticed I have issues with it. Any uh like a a man-made, a man-made. Any like player made tanks those do pretty good with the uh the spawner but any of the game generated vanilla tanks they're just having issues with the dials right now all right there is our tunnel again we're gonna come back through it but it's so much more quiet and pleasant without that engine running man that thing's loud i guess i could get some headphones on the seat here too and it'll be actually a little quieter as well anyway coming back up through the tunnel no, no screaming this time we'll just go through the tunnel and that tunnel's longer than i remember all right coming out the other side the other thing that I'd like to do with this build is maybe make a trailer or make it to where I could I could run two of these at a time and then have them on like a master slave system, kind of like our trains do. That way we can hook up, load our vehicles up and then hook them all together. And then the one in front will control them. And then the rest of them won't have, you know, issues with turning and things like that. They'll just be dragged behind. Um, that might be something we can do in the future, or maybe I'll just make a trailer for this thing that'll do the same thing. Mm, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I need some ideas for this. We're definitely going to make some containers that go on the back for personnel, fuel, and firefighting. I think that would be uh, kind of beneficial. Maybe get a crane on the back of this thing as well. We could do that. All kinds of ideas. We got. We got, It's a huge platform that we have now. All right, just coming up on the wind turbines here. They're all lit up at night. Looking nice. Battery at 42. I think we can get there. If not, we'll we'll manage. We'll do what we can. Our speed has gone down as well. I don't know if that's because we're climbing a hill right now or not, but we've lost like 15 miles an hour. I'm not sure what that's all about. We'll see what happens when we come up over this hill here. All right, speeding up. All right. Yeah, we're losing battery power. That's what's happening. Let's get that going because we're losing our mirrors here. They're starting to fuzz out. But guys, I had to stop for a bit. It just, it was getting so low. I had no mirrors. Things were, things were just running real slow. So I'm going to charge up for a little bit and then we'll get going again here. But you can see it in the mirrors. They're just starting to fuzz out. All right, I got about 10% out of it. I just can't, I'm tired of waiting guys. It's so slow. So now I know I got to work on. Uh, we're going to need more battery storage and or somehow we need to crank out more than 202 watts to get these batteries charged up. Um, well, I'm glad I knew where I was going there. Should have made a wrong turn. That would have been real bad. But yeah, let's see. Things to work on. Fixing the fuel gauges. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, getting these blinking lights on another button. Uh, maybe more batteries. Different containers for the back. I don't know. Got a few things to work on. Guys, tell me what you think. Tell me what we should do. But let's get home. Let's get this thing delivered. Hard to see it. Are we actually moving? We are moving, okay. I might even want to put my mirrors on a switch just so we can, uh, where am I going now? Just so we can turn those off and save power. We need to save power as best we can here on this thing. A switch, because I've got it right now that when you sit in the seat, the dials come on, so I need to put a switch for the night lights. Everything needs to be on a switch just so we're not running juice down. Things to change, things to change. But we are getting close here. We are getting close. All right, I think that's it over there. I think we're getting our first glimpse of, uh, North Terminal here. Looks like it's starting to rain again, even though there's not a cloud in the sky. All right, that is it, you guys. We are here. Um, 36%. We can do this. We can drop this off. Not a problem. Where does it want us to drop it off, though? That's the question. That is the question. You know what? This thing's loud. Let's turn that off. We don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Get in here. Where do you want this? Ooh, let's go slow mode. Right, it wants it right here. Okay, perfect. Uh, sweet. Sweet deal. Well, there you go. 4,000 bucks. I think we made 3,000 on the other one. Uh, we only had about 1,000 liters of fuel in here, and we haven't burned any of it. Looks like it's still going down. I don't know what's going on with the gauges, you guys. I'm, I'm very confused with that. Um, almost used the full battery. We did have to gin up a little bit. But, yeah, overall, I think this works as a, as a cargo carrier. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, comment down below. Tell me what you think of this build. Tell me what you think we should do with this build. And, yeah, throw a like on this video if you haven't already. And, guys, um, if you could, subscribe to this channel. It does help us out a whole lot. But I'm going to leave it here today, guys. Uh, and I hope to see you next time.